Johnny Warren on today. Johnny has, uh, has worn many hats here at the mountain. He's currently helping Bucky out over at the uh, rentals and he is uh, doing a great job over there. And he has uh, brought in his little one, Lorenzo. Hi, Lorenzo. How are you? <laughs> yeah. Do you know that you were famous even before you were born? Did you know that? Yeah. What do you got there? Is that the mountain? It's white nitro. Yeah. He's ready to head up there. Now, will he be a skier or a snowboarder? He'll be a snowboarder yeah. until he can say ski, and then if he wants to ski, he can do that. Well, that well, Just can't play basketball or hockey. <laughs> no basketball <laughs> no hockey. <laughs> Did you see the mountain, huh? Now, what's your friend's name? That is Marvin the Monkey. Marvin the Monkey. He seems to be the new security toy. Oh, well, see, we all got he one. He moves through them. I got one, you know, <laughs> what the heck. <laughs> Hey, Johnny, nice to be uh, And uh, you're celebrating St. Patty's Day, of course, right? Yes. Although my green is on my jacket, not on my shirt, I guess. Well, but, you, know, you know, that's true. Eh? But uh, we're supporting St. Patty's Day. It'll be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah. yeah, right. Oh, water. Yep. Thank you. This is not booze. It's water. <laughs> I just want to point that out. And uh, <laughs> so, Johnny, over at uh, Rentals, how are things going this year? Uh, this is your first year in Rentals, isn't this it? This is my first year over there in Rentals, and it's just been a new experience, and it's been, uh, it's been good. Yeah. And it's been busy over there, and, you know, um, usually the busiest times are uh, Thursday through Sunday. Yeah. And the other, the other three days are a little bit more mellow, um, main day being a little busier as well. Hi. And we, enjoy, uh, we enjoyed supporting the local schools this year, and... Getting those kids out once a week for I think it was about four weeks to get on the hill, which was nice too. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's just a, it's it's a nice place to work with a great crew. We've got, got I've su surprisingly got a lot of uh, compliment letters this year, which I haven't seen in other departments. I, mean, I know we get them, but myself personally, I haven't seen them come in as much. And it's been really cool to work with some kids who are uh, who are really good at what they do. Yeah. Yeah. Now, and it's a younger it's a younger crew too. They're younger than most of the jobs. Now Gareth now. works there too. Yeah, he's there. Um, very do you ever do you ever yell at your little brother? Oh, constantly, <laughs> constantly. <laughs> <laughs> can't, I can't beat him up, you know, I just have to yell at him. Well, time. you know, he's a big guy. He was, <laughs> he did a great job yesterday on the show, played some music for oh, us. Oh, good, awesome. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, the rentals, you know, I always tell people that they can pay for their rentals when they get their uh, ticket down at the base. That, is that, that a helpful thing? That is true. Well, it's great for us because, I mean, it just, it just makes it, well, I mean, whether you pay us or pay them, you're still, you're still paying and having to go through that process, but it just makes it faster for us upstairs. We can just... Fill your form, staple your receipt to the form, and you're you're gone. You right. Know? So, um, so e either way is whatever whatever more convenient for you is convenient for us. So right. That's fine. Do you want some of my water? Is that what you want? He'll huh? spill it all over himself. <laughs> 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 well, you are being such a good boy this morning, huh? Sometimes. Yeah. So Takes what's it, what's it like growing up and and bringing up a child and uh, having a family live up here year round? What is it like? Uh, well, I just. <laughs> I grew up in the in the Western Mountains of Maine, a little further south, in a town called Temple, and I just really enjoyed my life that way. And uh, I love this area, so I, I think it's a great place to raise a kid if you want to be doing things outside and not quite so um, urbanized. I um, I like it, so I mean it's my, it's my choice to be here, right? And, and I enjoy it. And uh, I I would imagine that. Uh you will bring Lorenzo up to enjoy the outdoors as well, take him out hiking and yeah, all of those different I mean, things? That's the thing that my family's always done. And, you know, my father brought me to the mountains and um, to hiking and uh, all kinds of outdoors activities, and uh, it just kind of, right? you know, it's a sickness. <laughs> it's a sickness. <laughs> it's a sickness. You know, You're going to have I, a great like, time, huh? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Being outside's Hi. a good thing, and he really enjoys being outside too. Yeah, Even boy. as a baby, he, he likes to be outside quite a bit. It's been tough this year because it's been kind of cold for that, but uh, it sure has. You know, on the days that are sunny and um, a little bit not quite so windy or whatever, we, we get him outside, which has been good. He's got some rosy red cheeks. Is that he, from, from teeth? Yeah, he has a lot of teeth for a one-year-old. He has 12 teeth with two more molars coming in, so that'll be 14 pretty soon here. And uh, his cheeks get rather red when they start coming in hard. And uh, Yeah. Although he's been pretty good about it. I mean, I don't know. We've been lucky. Yeah. It's been a while since I've had a baby, so I, <laughs> I, I remember, though, the uh, the teething. Yeah, and, and the drooling and the he and the drools red a ton and his snotty. So do I. I mean, that's not not anything bad. Every night, right? Yeah. I mean. right. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, he is adorable. And how old? He's one years old. Yeah. You know, normally he wouldn't be here, but on Monday and Tuesdays, I, I'm Daddy Daycare, and uh, so in order to do, be in here today, I well, that's he great. Came along, and luckily he's being pretty good about it. Now. <laughs> When will you start him on the slopes? Well, he'll be going on the slopes in April, and it'll be more of a photo op for us and just kind of a laugh. But, uh, he, you know, I have a board that's an 80. It's about as tall as he is, which is, which is big. And uh, he'll just go from point A to point B, meet a mom, and we'll get some pictures and just get him out on the hill. And next year he'll do it again and 
and as soon as he can start to make turns and um, on his own, we'll get him into the programs. You know. What do you so. do to prep him for that? Is there anything? Well, you we you just leave do? the snowboard on the on the on the uh, the carpet, and uh, he plays it all the time. He plays with my snowboard too. He, he unbuckles the bindings, unbuckles the bindings, and um, plays with it and picks it up and moves it around. So the more familiar he is with it, over time, um, when we get on the hill, it'll just be another thing that he's already played with. So. Um, yeah, he just we, we just leave it there for me, and I you know he has he has a bike we bought too a small little mini bike that has no pedals and he plays with the wheels and tires and so this summer when he starts to use that a little bit with our with our guidance um, he'll be used to you know seeing that item too so right. that's kind of the only prep we've really done I mean yeah. the only prep I'm waiting for is you know he can walk pretty good now but I'm just waiting for the, you know the full okay. the, the full he, you know he he'll, he'll walk anywhere he wants but balance still is right you're learning balance so by the time April comes he'll be a little more balanced and then uh, we'll just let him screw around with the board a bit. I think the equipment could be the more intimidating part of everything. So if you well, can don't. get used to the boots and things. Yeah, I think so. And I think that um, you know, it, as, as snowboarding has grown and uh, the demographic has changed, you know, a lot of snowboarders in my age who have kids, they, they're making more and more smaller kid stuff. And um, I think in the future you'll see them even make some smaller stuff. Like yeah. the, the, I know the the, the, bo <laughs> the board I have is an is an eighty, and really I'd like to get. It. I like to have a 60, but they don't make them quite that small yet. And I think the next couple of years you'll see that. Wow, that's With, great. You know, I mean, little kids ski too, so why not? Why aren't they snowboarding at the same yeah, time? Yeah, right. I suppose that you know, skiing, you're moving in the way you walk, so it would be a little more um, intuitive. Right. But um, I'm not a skier, I'm a snowboarder, so he's going to do the same thing we do until he decides he doesn't want to. So. Now, Tom Butler said that when his little one was younger, he used to pull him around the, the hardwood floor on a blanket to get him used to the... Oh, that's a great idea. I hadn't thought about that. Yeah. And, um, we might do that. And we also have a little skateboard for him, too, so you could probably do that as well. But that's a good idea, a blanket on the floor. I hadn't thought about that. Just, just to kind of uh, get Absolutely. him acclimated to that. Yeah, to yeah. sliding, for sure. You are going to have some fun out there. Look at those big brown eyes. Yeah, it's I a mean, really, It's really a selfish reason because I want to be out there. So if yeah. he can snowboard on my two days off in three or four years, I'll be snowboarding too. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> now, you had some good runs yesterday in the bank. Yeah, slalom. I did okay for myself. I, I, I achieved the goal that I wanted. I wanted to be sub-119, and I got a... 118.96, which is uh, you know this much below 119, but I'm happy with that for this year. And yeah, I don't get, I don't get to ride quite as much as I used to, and I'm and, you know I'm not quite as in good shape, and I don't get as much sleep. So, you know, <laughs> I'll I'll take whatever I get. It's just a really fun event, and you know it's fun to go up there with 200 snowboarders and kind of joke around and, and go to the bar afterwards and just uh, just meet other people and right. and um, and have fun being snowboarders, which um, is, is fun to do. <laughs> uh, surprising who uh, took the lead, Ross Powers and, uh, and of course, Seth Westbrook. Well, I mean, Ross and Seth, it could be any kind of, on any day, I think either one of those guys could be the lead. I mean, Ross is an exceptional snowboarder. I think people forget how good he is um, as an overall yeah. snowboarder. He was an, you know, he was a, an Olympic halfpipe rider, but uh, Ross was an amazing snowboarder overall. And it shows. <laughs> you yeah. know, he, he had a 111 yesterday, and Seth had a 109. And uh, they, you know, yesterday it was the other way around. You know, Seth had got a 115, and Ross got a 114. So yeah. those guys are are pretty darn good riders in general. It was <laughs> one tenth of one per one yeah. tenth of one a second, a tenth of a second <laughs> difference yeah. between the two of them when I was announcing. Yeah, it was no, pretty I mean, darn close. They're they're really really good. I mean, and Alex Tuttle's in there too. I mean, yeah, he had a, a great a run. second back from Ross, but you know, Alex is a little bit younger, and he also has a spiral fracture yeah. of his leg right now. So. Um, or I'm, I'm rather no uh, stress fracture of his leg. Yeah. So I mean, he's having to ride a little bit easier than he would normally ride. So um, those three guys are, are really, really good riders. And uh, yeah. if you look at the top 20 list of people, I'm sure you'll see quite a few struggle loafers fit in there. Right. And it just goes to show you that this mountain produces some really good people. So. And this event just keeps getting bigger every year. Over yeah, 300. And, uh, yeah. I mean. I, and we hope that it keeps growing. I mean, maybe eventually it'll be a, a similar type of lottery system to what they have at Baker. And um, it's just it's just a great event. It's, yeah. it's just a, you know it's it's low pressure. You know it's more bragging rights within your friends and beer bets and you know things opposed to you know the seriousness of like a race where you're trying to. I mean the the, the prizes are awesome, but yeah, it's the camaraderie. I think that's the most important part of that event. One of the things I notice is that all the age groups, yeah. 13 and under, and all the way up to 50 plus. That's pretty wide spread of age. You no, know, it is, and uh, it was really funny because uh, there's a kid here, um, Ethan Downing, who, um, Evan Downing, who's a, just an amazing young kid rider, 10 years old, and uh, and I'm, I'm assuming the times are all correct. But my first run yesterday was a, a 120.65. Uh, I looked over to see what he had, just because I like to see what he's doing because he's really good and fun to watch. He had a 125.6, and I was like, whoa! Yeah. And I felt I felt uh, you know slightly shamed. That <laughs> 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 a ten-year-old beat me by a, by, a, by a, you know a few tenths of a second, but um, he's just it just he's just a really good rider, and yeah. it's, it's fun to see the kids from the area yeah. and uh, get up there and be on the podium. It's awesome. And Miles Silverman had some amazing. Miles Miles Silverman uh, in I cut the toilet bowl turn, which was a real uh, kind of a big left hander to a really sharp right and down a gully. He uh, he nailed that. that was, he committed to that, and uh, it was pretty fun to watch him do that. And I, I I've known Miles since he was a little baby. 
on skis, and uh, it's pretty cool to see that kid start to be really good. You know? Yeah, yeah. That your dad on TV, huh? Do you want to wave to your us? mom? Huh? Where's Say mom? hi to mom. Hi, mommy. Wave? No, you're not a very good <laughs> waver yet. <laughs> well, he's, he, he was terrific. I, boy, look at that. He just, that. He just loves yeah. it. Well, it's great to see you, and uh, great to see uh, Lorenzo. As this is the first time we've met, you know, we've been talking about uh, when you were gonna have baby Lorenzo. Oh yeah, and uh, pretty exciting stuff. And you got yourself a minivan yet? I almost bought one, but I bought. <laughs> That's not we're, so bad. We're looking for a used car. We just, I was like, oh, what does that thing cost? And I was like, oh no, we don't have that. Bad. <laughs> but, uh, hey Johnny, thanks for it, coming. Yeah, you're welcome. We appreciate it. And Lorenzo, nice to meet you. Can I shake your hand? Give him a high five. High five. Do it. <laughs> you do that sometimes, not today, huh? Oh, uh, well, maybe no, not. Yeah, hey, thanks for joining us You're this welcome. morning. We appreciate it. We'll take a break. We'll come back with more here on the